Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Kern McAfee. And I'm Moose Santos, and this is your KWHS News. We're kicking off the news today with some important scheduled notes, so you might want to pay attention. Tomorrow, Thursday, May 9th, is a two and a half hour late start day. Please do not show up to school before 9 a.m. On Friday, we'll be on a modified afternoon assembly schedule for yearbook distribution, which means lunch will be after fifth period. We'll have more information on yearbook distribution and purchases in a bit. But first, here's the news seniors can use. Seniors, final exams start on Monday, May 13th, 13th for periods 5, 6, and 7. It is a full day schedule. This would be a great day to clean out your lockers. Finals on Tuesday, May 14th are periods 1 through 4, then lunch, and then check out during 5th hour. If you have cleared your conditions and had your locker checked off, you can leave campus after you complete your checkout sheet. Wednesday, May 15th is Senior Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Come celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2019 and the fact that our senior class has earned over $3 million in scholarships and awards. That's amazing. The Senior Breakfast will be on Thursday, May 16th in the Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Get your tickets in the business office until Friday. Tickets are $22 each and will not be available at the door. On Friday, May 17th, come participate in the Grad Walk. Meet in the Counseling Center at 10 a.m. and head over to Whitefield Elementary to inspire younger students. Otherwise, be in Bowers Gym at noon for graduation practice. And May 18th is our big day. Meet in the small gym at 7.30 and seniors, even though graduation starts at 9 a.m., you must be ready before then. So please, be here early. This is not the day to be late. Underclassmen, final exams begin on Monday, May 20th with periods 1, 2, and 3. It will be a full day and it will be a locker clean out. Bring a bag or box to take your stuff home. On Tuesday, May 21st, you will have exams for periods 4 and 5 with an early release. And finally, on Wednesday, May 22nd, you will have exams for periods 6 and 7. And if you have cleared your conditions, you are free to go and get your summer started. If not, prepare to wait in line to clear conditions. So glads, as exams get closer, if you need some support studying for them, why not sign up in the library? for a tutoring appointment with an NHS member. Those appointments are on Thursdays during advisory until finals week. Oh yeah, and the library would like to have their books back. If you haven't returned your books, you have a fee on Infinite Campus you must clear before you leave. Bring those books back. Look under the bed, in your closet, under the seats, or in the trunk of the car. In your backpack, just bring them back. The library will start a new summer checkout program next Wednesday. But if you haven't returned the books you have out, you cannot participate. Yet another reason to bring back those library books. And now, we're headed to the sports desk with Ethan Simon. What's the good news, Ethan? Sports time! Happy Hump Day! Glads, I'm Ethan Simon and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Glads, if you're interested in running for student cabinet next year, please see Miss Melton in room 103 to pick up your election materials. Petitions are due this Friday and elections will be held Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So see her soon and get your campaign ready. In tennis news, hot off their regionals win, our Lady Glads are sending eight players to the state tournament this weekend. We wish them the best of luck. Gentlemen, we haven't forgotten about you. If you're interested in playing tennis in the fall, Mr. Portugal is having an informational meeting this Friday at lunch in room 115. That's in the science wing. If you can't make it at lunch, then check in with Mr. Portugal after school in room 115. He will be sharing his summer plans with you at this time. In track and field news, although we had several PRs at the Blossom and Centennial invites last weekend, overall our Gladiator teams did not place. This weekend, however, our Gladiator competitors are headed to the Metro League Championships. We know several GLADs will move on to the state competition, usually held on graduation weekend, and we wish them the best of luck in all phases of their competitions. Swing into your weekend at the WHS Auditorium this Friday when the District 3 Jazz Festival kicks off at 6.30 p.m. Some of the best musicians from all of our district will be gracing the stage, so come out and give them a listen. It is sure to be an amazing experience. GLADs, have you ever wanted to manage a band? Well, here's your chance. The marching band is looking for a few good students to manage the band for the upcoming season. 
See Mr. King for an application if you are interested in becoming a member of this fantastic organization. And finally, we would like to once again congratulate our, our WHS Rotary Champions who earned some distinctive recognition on Monday night. Caitlin Anderson won the medallion for girls cross country and Aaliyah Ricketts won the medallion for girls basketball. Thanks for representing WHS in such a positive light. Special congratulations to Aaliyah Ricketts who won the Female Scholar Athlete of the Year. Not only did she receive a trophy, her name will also go on a plaque, and more importantly, Aaliyah won a $5,000 scholarship for her work as a scholar athlete. Way to go! That's all we have for you today. We'll be back on Friday with our final Damon's Dose of Health. For now, I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Moose. Have a great hump day! Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glad. If you drop the ball and need to take those classes you slept through, Registration for summer credit recovery classes is going on right now and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and runs until July 28th with orientation on June 3rd in the WHS Computer Lab. Check the district website to register or see your counselor. Get back on track to graduate on time. Alrighty, we're heading over to the cafeteria to hear what Miss Betsy's got cooking for us today and tomorrow for the last time this year. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. All right. Hey, it's lunch time. It's lunch time. Time for what's at lunch? Time for what's for lunch. Lunch. What are we gonna have? Well, today it's Wednesday. Wednesday, hump, hump day. day. Hump day. Get uh oh. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie. Hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on. I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie. Guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -hoo! Anyway, today we're going to have a variety of hot sandwiches, barbecue mm. rib, and all them kind of good things. So then on Thursday, we're going to have baked chicken with macaroni salad. Ooh, baked chicken. So how, how, many, how many more one? days are we going to be filming? Oh, I don't know. You know, know. because, Too many. because I, the you seniors aren't coming and, and getting their yes. papers for the money, you know, that they have on their accounts. They want you to keep the money. I, hey, I, I can't do that, but I'd be nice. It'd be nice. They can donate it, but I have to have it in writing. Okay, yes. we'll talk to you later. Thanks, and have a great Bye -bye. sunshiny day. Happy Bye. Wednesday. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glad. Get those outstanding lunch charges paid. Or if you have money in your account, see Miss Betsy for a refund. Check Infinite Campus for any outstanding conditions and clear those as soon as possible. Remember, Remember, everyone, but especially seniors, do not wait until the last minute to clear conditions unless, of course, you like waiting in long lines. You know you want to get out of here as soon as possible, so get those cleared early and start your summer on the right foot. Seniors, you must clear your conditions before graduation. All right, we said we'd give you more information about the yearbook distribution day. Well, it's this Friday, and here's the drill. You can still buy a yearbook today and tomorrow for $65, but you cannot go online. You have to buy it in the business office. If you wait until Friday to buy your book, it will cost you $70 and it must be cash. No checks, no debits, no charges, no IOUs, no CODs. Cash money only. Oh, bring a couple extra bucks if you would like to buy a Sharpie to sign books. Okay, on to locker information. Now hear this. Lockers for next year will not automatically be issued to us. So if you want a locker for next year, find yourself a partner and then sign up for the limited number of lockers we have available. See Ms. Price in the main office for more details. Glads. Those of you who took the ASVAB last month can pick up your results in library tomorrow. And finally, as you're cleaning out your lockers for the summer, and you found those school supplies you should have been using all year long, why not recycle them? The Environmental Club will be happy to take those spirals, binders, paper, writing instruments, and other usable school supplies off your hands. Bring your items to the Social Studies office in room 211 or 206 with Mr. Cummings. There will also be tables on the locker cleanout day where you can leave your serviceable materials. That's all we have today. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Moose Santos. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.